North Central is a lone UP boys basketball team still standing after capturing their third straight regional title for the first time in school history last week. Despite losing a nail biter to Cedarville last year in the quarterfinals, this time the undefeated Jets are ready for East Lansing. They'll be taking on Hillman in the Class D quarterfinals where the Tigers are riding a 23 game winning streak and they're led by Mason Van Pamel, Hillman's all time leading scorer. Luckily for the Jets on any night, any of their starters can get hot from the field. Head coach Adam Mercer believes the Tigers play a similar style to Carney Nato and Cedarville and knows the Tigers will be a tough matchup. Uh, they average about 72 points a game or so and uh, say they like to push it up tempo and uh, they'll play some matchup zones against us, I'm sure. But uh, we'll be ready for a challenge. Uh, they're, they're a fine ball club. They finally got through that regional. Uh, last two years they lost the regional final, so uh, they finally got through. So I'm sure they're looking forward to, the, uh, to playing in the quarterfinal game. Up for grabs, a trip to the Class D semifinals. Tip-off between the Jets and Tigers will be in the Sioux tomorrow at 7 p.m. History was made on Saturday. Half of the state trophies came back to the UP, and two towns celebrated a state championship year in girls basketball. St. Ignis and Calumet gave the UP faithful something to cheer about over the weekend, and it showed because both these teams found they had the entire UP behind them the entire way. Unreal, you know, what happened right there. I didn't realize that it was the first time, but this is the first time in history that two UP teams won, you know, two of them. Um, and the way that uh, the coaching staff there, you know, they called me on the way up and congratulated us, you know, and those people waiting for us, it was, it was a class act. The best feeling in the whole world was coming across the Mackinac Bridge, talking to the St. Ignis coach, congratulating them, and both of us bringing home the big gold trophy. Calumet will be able to hang their first championship banner this season. As for St. Ignis, it will be their fifth state title win. The Michigan Tech Huskies are back in the NCAA men's ice hockey tournament for the first time in 34 years. The Huskies were runners up in the WCHA this season, and their 29 wins are tied for the most in the country. Head coach Mel Pearson is excited his team will be taking on St. Cloud State in the West Region. I saw them play last year in the, in the regional the NCAA tournament, so we're familiar with them, and I like the style they play. They're well coached. Um, you know, it's going to be a huge challenge for us, but at the same time, it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity to be in the tournament, and, and to, you know, just really to be playing anybody at this point. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, it's down to the wire now. It's just do or die. So we just hope we can extend it as long as we can. So let's take a look at that matchup. It's a battle of the Huskies. Michigan Tech will be heading to Fargo, North Dakota for a first round match with 13th ranked St. Cloud State. And they are also the Huskies. The winner will take on either North Dakota or Quinnipiac for the West Regional Championship and a spot in the Frozen Four in Boston. The puck will drop this Friday at 4.30 p.m. on ESPN3.com. Awards coming from Houghton. Michigan Tech senior Ben Stelzer was named to the 2015 Dactronics Division II All-America second team to also go along with his Midwest Region Player of the Year honor. The senior averaged 22 points per game for the Huskies this season and connected on 46% of his shots from three-point range. Stilzer was also named the GLIAC Player of the Year.